Hi, it's Beth um, from Ironton, Ohio. And uh, I'm doing this uh, video now, but I probably won't be posting it until later. Um, had to return some calls and, and, and talk to people and uh, uh, do some things. And uh, But anyway, um, I wanted to touch base with you again. Um, now that the election is uh, tomorrow uh, morning, I think the polls open at 6.30 a.m. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I've been in that position. And, uh, you know, uh, everybody's, uh, it's cutthroat, buddy. It's cutthroat. But I will probably guarantee you uh, that a female uh, will win uh, the mayor race. And uh, why is that? Well, uh, if these investors in the community um write you out a, te a check for thirty five thousand uh, dollars and you get it and you're a woman well they think they can control a woman well obviously uh, uh they don't control sam or they would have told him to uh, call five three two one five one five uh sure way cab and that is a sure way not to get a dui but anyway Enough about Sam, you know. Uh, nobody's heard a peep of him, about him. But yet he says he's going to make 80% of the vote. He don't have to. Uh, he don't have to. Uh, excuse me. Um, he don't have to uh, worry about it. He, he thinks he's uh, got 80% of the vote. Well, if he does, congratulations, honey. Congratulations. And, uh, you know, um, thank you for paving those... Uh, 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 certain streets that you did, um, like I said before in another video, um, if you, if you drive around town, you see those, uh, certain streets that are paved, and, uh, like I said, they, they give you a, a phase one, phase, phase two, phase three, and so on, um, about which roads you're going to do, and so then people see that graph, um, I don't know if it was in the trib, you most likely it was, uh, and they, they think, well, they, they've got a plan in order. Well, um, what are you going to do? You, you're going to pave roads and then uh, promise you're going to uh, replace the infrastructure. And now I know uh, that may be on uh, a certain end of town. Uh, but it's just, it's just when you say to people, um, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, replace uh, the infrastructure. Now, like I said, uh, for 12 years on council, uh, we talked about that for years, years and years. And um, I will be going through, um, I don't know if it's over here or not, uh, the water bill fees. Um, <laughs> uh, my water bill last month, actual water, um, was $18.08, $18.08. .08. Now, if you, if you add... Uh, the fees on there, uh, you know, the garbage fee, uh, fire fee, uh, you know, uh, all those fees on there. Um, uh, you'll see, uh, and there is a proposed uh, ordinance that in the next 10 years, every year, uh, that will raise. Uh, this the population that I posted the graph about on Facebook, uh, uh, there you go. People are moving away from here uh, because of these uh, fees. Okay? So, anyway, um, I'm wearing a, a, a NASA shirt. Okay? And uh, that is National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Okay? That's what that means. And uh, uh, just for me wearing this NASA shirt, um, I get to go up. On the next, uh, and I don't have to pay that uh, uh, quarter million dollars to go up uh, with, uh, you know who, uh, to uh, the moon. Uh, they're gonna let me go for free. Wow, can't wait. I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But anyway, um, let's go on to uh, something else. Now, uh, here is a little uh, uh, example of. Uh, inducing panic. Now, this is nothing I've talked about of recent, but um, 
I want to talk about it tonight, okay? Let me uh, pull it up here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I have a... If you wonder why I squint this right eye, this this one right here, my right eye, um, I, I have a lazy eye. I have a lazy eye. So I squint it. So I uh, just wanted to make that clear to all you people. Okay, so anyway, in 1938, uh, mm -hmm, it was a, a Halloween episode uh, of the radio series, The Mercury Theater on the Air, directed and narrated by Orson Welles. And, uh, as an adaptation of H.G. Wells' novel, The War of the Worlds in 1898, uh, that was performed and broadcast live at 8 p.m. on October 30th, 1938 over the CBS radio uh, network. Now, uh, the episode uh, is remembered uh, for in, in uh, inducing panic. Um, uh, the, 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 the scale of the panic is disputed uh, as the program had relatively few listeners. Now, do you believe that? You turn the radio on and uh, Orson Welles is telling you, uh, oh gosh, uh, the Martians are here. The Martians are here. Uh, run for your life. Um, uh, do this and do that. Mm -hmm. uh, do you not think uh, the people back then uh, listened to the radio? The fortunate ones that could afford a radio. Do you not think uh, that they were scared? Why is this allowed to happen? Okay. Now, um, I'm sure um, uh, I have kind of a... A skeptical uh, view on uh, the pyramids um, uh, that uh, some people claim. Uh, how could uh, uh, the Romans uh, uh, build a pyramid so perfect uh, without the right equipment? Well, and if you watch the Ten Commandments, which I watch every year uh, that it's on, and a great movie, um, if you watch that, it shows uh, in that movie that, um, and as, as far as I can tell, and as researched, um, it's pretty accurate. Um, but you can see uh, how they claim those pyramids uh, were built. But uh, there's also a, uh, a theory that um, aliens uh, did that. Okay, so anyway... Um, I just want to put that out there. Uh, inducing panic. Now, that's a real thing. Uh, that's a real thing. You know, just like these uh, uh, kids calling in uh, bomb threats at schools. Well, after everything that's going on in the country, um, of, of course, uh, people are going to be scared. They're going to lock down the schools and, and all that. Um, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Um, so, if certain states... Uh, get uh, grants and funding uh, to put those uh, slides up against the door in case of a school shooting to prevent anybody from coming in. Uh, why didn't Arton High School have that? Why did these local schools not have that? Uh, but anyway, uh, that's just another thing uh, that intrigues me. Uh, let me see here what else I got. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you've noticed on your Facebook, if you if you live in the state of Ohio, that um, uh, in 2022, uh, Governor DeWine um, uh, uh, signed a bill about uh, the state of Ohio being an open carry uh, state. Okay, and uh, now. If you're going, if you're looking at your Facebook, at, uh, now it says you have to have a concealed carry uh, permit. Now, which is it? Which is it? Governor, open state carry. Facebook, you gotta, you gotta pay for it. You gotta pay for it. It's another money making thing. You know, it's it's your right to to carry a firearm. I mean, my dear God, years ago, people used to have their guns. Good country people, good country folk, um, had their guns in the, in the window of, the, of their truck. Um, you know, 
anyway, I'll get I'll get back to some of that. But anyway, um, let's see here. Let's take a look at my email and see what interesting things I got today. <laughs> okay. Walmart, which I um, I don't shop. I do not shop. I do not buy groceries. Um, I don't do any of that. I'm blessed. I have somebody that does that because obviously uh, I would pick out the wrong items and, uh, um, you know, I'm not to go in the kitchen. Uh, uh when the chef is cooking, I'm not, and I respect that, you know, when I, uh, it, when I wake up in the morning, I smell something, and I don't know what it is, you know, that's a blessing, uh, because I know it's going to be good, um, anyway, I got a thing from Walmart, uh, saying that I won, <laughs> uh, such and such, oh, let's see, congratulations, <laughs> You have one such and such. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go back down through here. Um, Amazon. Well, uh, that's a whole other story that I'll be dealing with abruptly. Um, uh, also got uh, um, an offer. Uh, from uh, a certain individual, uh, I think in New Jersey, to do uh, uh, a live interview with them. Uh, and uh, I'm talking with them, and uh, that may happen or may not. Um, you know, uh, just get all kinds of crazy stuff on my uh, Gmail. And... Uh, yeah, my, uh, my Gmail is brist510 at gmail.com. Now, feel free. Send me an email. Okay? Okay. Now, don't be scared. Just shout out. Shout out. Oh, I got Beather's email. Let's email her. One, two. Let's scare her. Honey, I'm not afraid. Well, let's see what else. Uh, here's the, uh, something on email. My eight-year-old son touched my five-year-old daughter inappropriately. How should I address that? Well, how should you address that? Well, okay, it says, uh, uh, let me get this straight. Your son... Uh, that eight years old touched your daughter inappropriately. I'm not a parent, but here, Anna, sit your eight-year-old son down and tell him that's not, um, hold on. Uh, tell him uh, that's not uh, appropriate behavior. Well, uh, people, you you determine what your child uh, thinks and uh, no, don't you think uh, for one minute that that child don't absorb the atmosphere and the energy and the negative energy uh, that the parents put out. Now, that's your choice and your choice alone to decide if you want, uh, if you want to stay with someone uh, that beats on you, whether it be a man or a woman, uh, your child's going to suffer for that. Your child uh, is going to suffer for that, okay? Um... Here's another one. How do I tell my nine-year-old foster son that we will be adopting his younger half-sister, but not him? He he will be removed to a group home. Wow. Uh, choices, people. Choices. Uh, what's important to you? What's important to you, your child uh, or your spouse? Now, um, I don't have any, any children, uh, but I'll be damned. If I let, um, you know, I went through that as a child. I'd be damned if I uh, uh, stand by and um, uh, not uh, say anything uh, about being abused at home. I had this call uh, one day uh, at 4th and Spruce, a big brick house there. Now it's torn down and the land bank owns that property and they put some trees up. It's real nice. 
Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> uh, a man was in a, in a wheelchair and he had a, uh, emergency call button on his neck. Okay. Now, um, in this particular situation, uh, the woman, um, was abusing him. Uh, um, she, uh, now he told me this in his own words and she was standing in the kitchen and uh, he was, of course, in his wheelchair and he was crying and he said, uh, you know, and this is the first time that I ever uh, dealt with these, uh, these two individuals and he was crying. He said, uh, she beats me. She don't feed me. Uh, she won't change uh, uh, my diaper. She won't do this. She won't do that. Excuse me. And um, uh, she won't do this. She won't do that. And uh, then she started cussing him and all that. And uh, so, you know, sometimes you just let him go back and forth and you can uh, retain that information. You know? Uh, you can retain that information. So, I, I, I sat down there uh, with the man in the wheelchair, and uh, no, I, I wasn't in a hurry uh, for the next call, or I wasn't in a hurry to go uh, call my uh, uh, spouse or uh, uh, somebody on the side or uh, goof off or do anything like that. Um, I was doing my job, so I sit there, and uh, I talked to her, and I told her, I said, listen, um, has been married for how long? 40 years. Uh, just because he is, is ill in a wheelchair uh, makes you think uh, that you can abuse him. And of course, she said, I don't abuse him. I don't abuse him. Uh, and, uh, you know, the man's sitting there in the wheelchair crying. Now, um, yeah, I believe me. I believe me. And uh, I told her, I said, listen, uh, if I have to come back here again, uh, ma'am, and they were both elderly. I said, uh, if I have to come back here again, uh, on a, uh, him pushing that n uh, button uh, on the emergency alert on around his neck, I said, uh, and I find him in a uh, situation uh, like I'm witnessing now, um, I will take you to jail. Don't care how old you are, I will take you to jail. And uh, so, anyway, that's one example. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes, and there's a, also another story about um, an officer at IPD that uh, his first wife uh, had a stroke, and uh, I played basketball with her, and uh, uh, she's a good person, uh, and um, she had a stroke, and uh, so then uh, there she was at the home in a wheelchair, okay, uh, and this particular officer, uh, would, uh, before he left to come to work, uh, he would, uh, just pee on her because she couldn't move. She couldn't move. Now, uh, I heard this from a family member that witnessed it, okay? Um, I don't think I, I need to tell that officer's name, uh, but it's the same officer that was on video at Speedway, uh, having sex on duty. Uh, now, what, what position does he hold now? Okay? He got a written reprimand for doing that. And remember, I got five years uh, threatened uh, for prison for uh, giving somebody a ticket, expired tag ticket. Okay, so anyway, um, let me let me say one more thing about domestic violence. Um, uh, when uh, when when you uh, call the police or nine one one on a domestic violence call. Um, uh, most officers uh, tend to um, uh, put the male uh, in a, one cruiser and put the female in the other cruiser and get uh, each side of their story. Well, I chose uh, to uh, take the kids in another room so they wouldn't have to witness the police uh, talking to their parents. And kids don't lie. Uh, kids uh, will uh, tell you, uh, especially since uh, years ago now, I'm sure they don't trust police officers now because it's all over the news what the police get by with and what they do. And it's very common here in Lawrence County and in Ironton. And I'm sure all over the country. But I don't care about all over the country. I, I care about Ironton, Ohio and Lawrence County. Um, 
So, uh, kids will not lie to you. You know, I went on a call, and um, there was a little uh, boy and a little girl. Uh, uh, the boy was uh, seven, and the girl was ten. And I took him in another room, and uh, uh, the, the parents were uh, detained in another vehicle, in separate vehicles. And uh, the, uh, the child, uh, the female child, she said, um, Dad uh, hit Mom, and he hits her all the time. Um, and I didn't uh, pepper them with questions. I just let them talk. Just let them talk. All you got to do is sit down with these kids, and they'll tell you the truth. They'll tell you the truth. Now, if you are a parent, um, those kids might be afraid uh, to tell the truth. They might be afraid of uh, the father or the mother. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but um, in this case, uh, you know, uh, kids are not going to lie uh, to a police officer because back then they respected uh, that uniform and that badge. And they thought that you were there to help. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, <laughs> I'm waiting uh, for more uh, feedback from uh, politicians are running uh, tomorrow. And um, like I said, I just want to touch base on a couple of uh, things and domestic violence and... Uh, I also posted a, a short clip uh, of a movie tonight um, where uh, on my Facebook um, it said uh, Sing S-I-N-G uh, Solar Plexus In Step Nose Groin Those four places Bam, 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 bam There you go Um I am. Um, I can't wait. Um, and uh, Amy, I appreciate you uh, bringing, going to bring your whole staff uh, to my self defense class. And uh, I can't wait uh, to after Christmas to start that um, because um, <laughs> even though um, Chief of Police once told me uh, that we uh, women were second class citizens and no woman belonged behind the pulpit. And no woman belonged in law enforcement. Uh, we were made by Adam's Rib and we were second class citizens. Well, um, I do post on my Facebook a lot about Joyce Meyer. Uh, not just because she's a woman. Um, but uh, just because um, that chief influenced me to not want to watch a male uh, preacher. You know, look at what's, look at what's going on. Uh, down the road here from Ironton uh, with preachers involved. Uh, and I'm not judging them. I don't know them. Um, but you can look uh, across the country about what happens in these uh, to these usher boys um, in a Catholic church. Now, I'm not saying that happens in Ironton. I'm just saying you can read the news, um, whichever channel uh, you choose to. I mean, that's, that's up to you. Um, anyway, I will be... Uh, I will be talking about some more things. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. Uh, it's too much fun. Um, uh, and let me say one, once again, um, I've posted twice on my Facebook. Do not send me anything about Timu. And do not send me anything saying, if you add me, uh, we will both make money. Bullshit. No, we won't. And I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Um, anyway, I want to mention uh, this china behind me here. Um, I ate on that china. That was my mother's china. Um, and I ate at this table with that china. On holidays, uh, that was special. That was special. And uh, I was uh, lucky enough uh, that uh, my sisters uh, gave me that china. Um, and this is my aunt's um, uh, china cabinet. She passed away several years ago. My um, great aunt, uh, my grandmother's uh, sister. Um, but anyway, um, I am... Um, 
have so many, uh, oh, excuse me, I have so many, uh, things to talk about, and, um, I will continue this conversation, I might do it tonight, I might do it tomorrow, but I will, uh, I will, um, probably, most likely go to the polls tomorrow and do a video, um, uh, and if I do, I, I will bring it to you uh, as, as soon as I can, and, um, Thank you for um, your time today, and uh, I will get back to you soon, okay? Bedford, Iron, Ohio. God bless. Have a great night. It is 61 degrees. Enjoy it. Open those windows. You know, the other day, the other night, it was 28 degrees. I uh, already put my uh, summer clothes up. Uh, then I uh, shuffled around trying to find a pair of shorts. Uh, weather's crazy, isn't it? But uh, anyway, I'll get back to you. Um, and no, I didn't mean anything earlier about golfers. Now, I love golf. I love golf. Um, you know, um, I simply, um, as George Carlin would say, uh, it's a difficult, it's a difficult game. It's a very uh, difficult game, and you got to be really good at it. That took me golfing when I was young. And, um, loved it. And I, I still love it. Uh, but to hit a ball, uh, and then walk, uh, to that ball and hit it again. Oh my God. You know? Wow. Um, uh, yeah, I'm sure that's, it's relaxing. It is relaxing. Uh, beautiful, uh, landscaping and, uh, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> All kinds of stuff like that. It's wonderful. Now you have to use a bathroom in in the woods, and take your take your roll of toilet paper because you don't want to hike back up to the clubhouse and uh, use a bathroom because you're golfing. And you can carry a cooler on the back of your golf cart and you can drink. And and uh, in Florida, I, I was there golfing uh, with a friend of mine, and um, they actually had a lady driving a, a, a little uh, cart. Uh, uh, with a portable bar, you could you could be golfing, and uh, she'd pull up and uh, give you a Jack and Coke. You know, it's an elitist sport, and I think that's great. Um, that's great. Um, now, do I want to waste uh, uh, forty, sixty dollars to go uh, golf uh, nine holes, eighteen holes? No, um, I don't. I can. Uh, I got plenty of property here. I can uh, chip shot. Um, into a bucket, like my dad did when I was young, you know. Um, yeah, I, I go to the driving range, and uh, yeah, it, it's it's fun game. I love it. I, I don't like to watch it on TV because, um, you know, it, it's kind of boring. They're whispering. Uh, okay, he's about to approach the tee. Let's see what he does. Okay, but now it's different. You got the crowds, and you got all of these famous people. Uh, that are playing golf, and uh, it, it's a good sport. I'm just saying, you know, priorities, people. Um, I want to thank um, uh, the the uh, Beulah Church from Proctorville, Ohio, that uh, uh, came down the other day and, and brought prepared meals for the city mission here in Ironton. And uh, while we're speaking about the city mission, um, is that state funded? Uh, now I'm asking you. Now I, I know, but I'm, I'm just asking: Is that state funded? Now it, are they? Uh, they make you leave at eight o'clock in the morning, and you can't come back till eight o'clock at night. Okay, so um, who? Uh, if you get there first, are you guaranteed a spot? And if that facility is full, then you keep getting that state funding, right? Um, okay. Why don't we have a Salvation Army now? I spoke about that. We haven't, aren't had a Salvation Army since 1925. Okay, there wasn't a need for it, they said. Well, like I said the other night, uh, it's a religion uh, government thing uh, about it. And, uh, you know, what's sad is uh, people that drop stuff off, to, good, uh, honest people that drop stuff off uh, for the less fortunate, um, sometimes... And I know this for a fact. Uh, sometimes uh, the employees will take the best things and uh, 
and then uh, leave the rest for uh, the uh, customers that go to the Salvation Army. Um, and that's fine. Uh, you want to do that, that's fine. Um, but anyway, I'll be talking to you uh, here in a little bit. Um, I'm by no means uh, uh, ready to, to lay down. It's so early, but um, oh, it's just uh, uh, so funny. Uh, to look through here and see what um, people say and send me. But anyway, I'll let you go. And uh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow. Like I said, if I go to the polls uh, over here at Arden High School or uh, another location, uh, I will do a video and um, let you see uh, uh, for yourself um, how, uh, how it works. Okay? Uh, Beth Ruth starting to have. God bless you. Protect your children, people. Be the change. Uh, if you speak up about your child uh, being abused by another parent, um, um, shoot. Uh, I mean, uh, other people uh, will um, follow you, and, and they may have the strength to do what you do. Okay? Your children are effective for the rest of their lives. Okay? Beth Ray starting to hide. God bless.